Hi folks, hope you are having a good time. Today we have come with another information session uh, on cybersecurity, which is like one of the certifications which are available online. So let's start with CRISC and uh, C-RISC is one of the ISACA's certification, which is certified in risk and information system control. And this certification is basically for IT professionals uh, where, where the certification itself is structured in such a way that it will prepare the professionals to understand the real time or real world threats. And it gives some tools and techniques and governance and uh, methodologies to mitigate the risk which may exist in the IT environment. Now, the series certification is basically is uh, one of the comparable IT security or cyber security certification in the sense that it teaches and gives you knowledge and expertise in the risk management and everything with respect to the security or with respect to the threat environment. It is starting from the risk management process. So series certified professionals helps the organizations or enterprises in understanding the business risk. And they possess a technical understanding how to implement the most important, useful information security procedures and controls within an organization. So that is all about C-Risk. And C-Risk was started uh, from Asaka itself. And Asaka itself was founded in 1969. So and, uh, in addition to this one, uh, ISACA also offers CISA, CISM, CRISC, corporate govern, uh, certified in governance of enterprise IT. But since we are talking about CRISC, and you can see the career path leads to chief risk officer, and it focuses on the risk management. And uh, it is one of the most valuable certification offered through ISACA's platform. Now, ISACA defines four risk, uh, CRISC domains on which uh, the candidates will be examined or will be tested. One is IT risk identification, IT risk assessment, risk response and the mitigation, risk and control monitoring and the reporting, which represent 22% of the exam questions and rest of the domains have 27% for domain one, 28% for domain two, and 23% of the questions will come from domain three. So it gives you a pretty good idea about the four risk domains in CRX. Now, the certification is beneficial to the following professionals. As you can see, there can be business analyst also, compliance professional, control professionals, IT professionals, project managers, risk professionals, and anyone who manages a company, IT risk and control should add this certification for their skill set. But as you can see, it is good for every person, even though he's not related with the IT, but even if he's related with the IT or a business process, because everything is flowing through the information systems nowadays. We are working remotely, everybody's using laptops. So it is good certification for anybody who wants to have a basic understanding how the risk uh, management processes work across an organization. So the official series exam has 150 questions. Okay, you will get four options. And the grading of the mask, uh, marks are on the scale of 200 to 800 points. And the skill score of 450 or higher is considered to be passed. And uh, they will, it will allow you uh, to have a serious certification. Now, the requirement says that you should successfully complete the exam, adhere with the code of professional education and professional ethics also, and demonstrate that you have a minimum of three works cumulative to work up experience in the tasks of at least two domains of the four domains like the IT domain, IT risk management domains and uh, one in either of one or two. So it has to be like three years experience and uh, either you have worked in the IT risk management field on the operational side or the audit side or the implementation side or on the governor side. So if you can prove, you can apply for a serious certification and then after the approval of the application, you will be allowed to use serious icon with your profile. And just to give you a glimpse of uh, the worth of the certification, there are more than 26,000 certification holders. The average salary ranges 117,000 uh, in US on a yearly basis. 
which is at par with other security certifications like CISA, CISSP, and it is accredited from uh, under NC uh, under the scheme of 17024, which is for the competence of people. And um, over the last so many years, 22% of the people have potential pay boost, uh, pay boost because of this series exam. And 70% of the organization had have a job or performance improvement uh, during the jobs. And in another way, it is 90% more effective for the teams. And it improved the expertise and efficiency of the people involved in IT risk management process. Uh, so 70% of the people have said that it has improved, improved the expertise and efficiency and 90% of the employees retained with the investment in this training. So these are just of the figures, some of the figures which are listed on the ISACA website. Now, after you attain this one, so after three years, uh, if you want to continue be a C-Risk, like it give, they give you basically five years to do that within a five, uh, 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 within after getting the certification, uh, so three year certification period, uh, you have to earn at least 20 CPE hours, which is the continuous professional education hours. And if you accumulate this 20 hours, then you can continue to use the series certification with your profile. And uh, after passing the exam, there is a uh, period. And after the period is over, you don't need to sit for a recertification or, or reset for the exam. You can uh, prove that you have earned continuous professional education or continuous uh, like education hours while uh, delivering the courses, uh, working in an IT environment, uh, paying back to the profession, which is uh, um, like uh, giving lectures in his archive events. So this gives you a CP requirements and then it allows you to maintain the serious exam and uh, will give you that uh, you have to earn for three years, 120 hours, 20 hours per year and you have to pay uh, the maintenance fees of $45 once you are certified through an application process. And 45 is for member, 85 is for non-members. And you have to comply with the annual CPE audit if you are selected for that particular activity. We apply, they will either accept it, approve it, or they will select some uh, certificate CPE claims for audit. And most importantly, we have to comply with the ISACA's code of professional ethics. And uh, by doing this, we can maintain this uh, certification along with our profile.